Today I am going to explain how to configure and use additive costs in SAP S4HANA. Welcome back to the channel, this is Abdullah Galal and this is another video in the product costing playlist, which is a progressive playlist I started around a year ago to explain everything related to product costing in business and in SAP S4HANA. And I started the playlist from zero, so if there is anything you don't understand in the video today, then you should watch the playlist from the beginning. So what is the meaning of additive costs in SAP? Until now we understand that we can run a standard cost estimate for an item on SAP and when we do so, SAP will automatically determine the bill of material, the routing, the costing overhead sheets and will automatically calculate the cost of the product. Now what if we have other cost items that cannot be driven automatically? We have some cost items that do not exist in bill of material or routing. For example, let's say we have two plants and we are going to run a standard cost estimate for our product in the first plant. After this, we are going to move this product to the second plant and we are going to pay some cost for transferring the product. So we would like the second plant to have the same cost estimate plus some additive costs for transfers these costs, they don't exist in bill of material or routing. SAP has no way to automatically determine that there was a transfer cost. So this is an additive cost, which means it is a manual cost item that we add to any cost estimate we want. So additive costs is a flexible function that we can use to add manually any costs we want to a standard cost estimate. And you can use it any way you want. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to configure and use additive costs in SAP S4HANA. I always prefer to start with the business process, which means how to actually create additive costs before going into the configuration. So this way we understand what we are trying to do. So I will start by creating additive costs for my product. To do this, go to accounting, controlling, product cost controlling, product cost planning, material costing, cost estimate with quantity structure, Additive cost, CK74N, create. So it looks exactly the same like the standard cost estimate screen. In this screen, we will add the additive cost and then we will go to CK11N, the cost estimate screen. And when we run the cost estimate, it will include the costs we add here. Let's see how this works. So here I have my material code. I have the plant and I have the costing variant, the costing version. And if I hit enter, it will take me to dates. So this will be starting from 0107-2020. This is the cost estimate for July. And enter. I have already created an additive cost estimate for this period before, before I do this demo. So I can either say I want to copy it, change it, or I want to overwrite. So if I go on continue, now I'm going to create a new additive cost for this product. So what we want to do is, as you see, it is a very blank screen. It is very manual. You can add anything you want. So you have to start by adding the cost element, which you can find in your cost component structure. So the cost element I will use is ADDTV. And I will show you where to configure this after we do the business process. So this is what I will explain today. So this is the cost element I want to add. And I want to add, for example, 10 euros. So this can be transfer cost, insurance, any manual cost you want to add to your cost estimate. And then the quantity, you have to insert a quantity. So if I, if I don't know what quantity is, I just insert one. So this way SAP will multiply one by 10. But if you leave it empty, SAP will not calculate anything. Enter. So quantity is one, enter. And this is it. It's very simple like this. All I have to do now is to save. And always review this summary before you save again. So until now, I didn't save. This is just a report. As you see here, cost estimate saved temporarily. So it is not saved yet. You have to save again. But before you save again, you can check that everything is okay. This is what we need. Yes. So this is the cost element, total value. Everything is okay. And I will save again. So now cost estimate was saved for 0107-2020. Now we are good. The second step is to go to the standard cost estimate screen. So I went back to the menu and go to CK11N, the same transaction we used in the last demo. Run. So I have to use the same material, plant, 
the same costing variant, the same version. This is how SAP will link the additive cost to my cost estimate. Enter. And then I have the dates also. So the date also has to be the same date or has to be within the same validity date of the additive cost. Enter. And here is our cost estimate. So first of all, we have no errors. Always check this first. Then here, as you see, as exactly as last time, we have the activities, we have the material, we have the overheads, but we also have a new line. So let's sort here like this. We also have a new line, this one. So SAP has added a new cost item with, the, uh, with item number five. The item category is V variable. The cost element is additive and total value is 10 which is what we added in the additive cost. If you go to the cost component split, I assign this cost element to a third cost component to be able to see, to, to see it clearly when I do my analysis. So now I have direct materials 31, I have conversion, conversion cost of 44, and I have additive cost of 10, so the total is 85.6 for one share. This is how we use additive cost. It is very simple to use, the process is very easy and it is very flexible. You can use it any way you want. Now let's go into the configuration activities. So in order to be able to do this, what did I have to configure in the system? It is very simple. All you have to do, there are three steps. So step number one is to update your costing variant. So if I go to the costing variant here and I go to additive costs, this one, additive cost to components include additive cost. By standard, the standard setup is this will be one, ignore additive cost. If you leave it like one, SAP will never include your additive cost. So you have to change it to either two or three. And then you also check this checkbox, include additive cost with the stock transfers. So this is the first configura configuration activity. The second configuration activity is in the valuation variant, in the costing variant also. So you go to control, valuation variant, I have a specific setup for my plant because this is a standard valuation variant as I already explained in the last video, so I have to click here. So for my plant with the valuation variant 001, my plant G001, I, ha I checked this checkbox. So I did include additive cost, yes, yes, yes. So when SAP determines the value of the components, it will also include the additive cost. So you have to do these two steps. The third step is to adjust your cost to component structure if you want to. This one is optional because you can actually add additive cost to the normal cost to components. But if you would like to do like I did and include a separate cost to components for additive costs, then you have to adjust your cost to component structure. And to do this, you can go to the transaction, which is OKTZ. So this is a configuration transaction, very famous for anyone working in product costing. This is my cost to component structure. And then I can go into my cost to components. So I created a third cost to component. So you just click on new entries and you add any line you want. Now after this, you assign the, 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 you assign the cost to component to a cost element. So I choose the line and I go into this assignment of cost to component to cost element interval. And my cost to component number three is assigned to the cost element additive. This is why when we check the cost estimate screen, if we go back here, this is why SAP knows that I'm going to include the cost element in this cost component. It is very simple. You just assign the link here. So the cost component num number three will include the cost element ADDTV. This cost element is a secondary cost element. Let me show you the master data on how to create it. So to display a cost element master data in SAP S4HANA, we go to transaction FS00. So this is my GL account or secondary cost element, and this is my company code, enter. So this is a GL account type, secondary cost. And if you go to control data, the cost element category is 41, overhead rates. You can use any secondary cost element category. Most of them will work. I didn't try all of them, but for sure, 41 will work with you correctly. So this is a secondary cost element of category 41. So I created the secondary cost element, and then I went to my cost component structure and I assigned it. 
This is all you want to do in order to get additive costs to be working in your system. After this, you do the process as I just explained. If you have any questions, leave them to me in the comments. In the next videos, I will go into more advanced functions in product costing also. So if there is anything you don't understand, again, you should watch the playlist from the beginning. Everything I say in any of my videos, it means that I already explained it in another one before. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share the video with anyone you know, anyone who will be interested. Leave me your comments. Send me messages on LinkedIn if you have any questions. And I will see you again next week. Thank you.